Do you have any advice for musicians who are just getting into doing music on a Mac? Um, yeah, definitely. I, I, I get I get asked that a lot. I mean, people ask me like, what sort of gear they think is cool mm -hmm. to start out with, and every time what I tell them is get get yourself obviously get yourself a Macintosh and um, get yourself a copy of Reason and a um, USB keyboard and go to town. You can start making songs in Reason. You know, I think it's a great place to start for people. Um, my my biggest advice, though, really, more than anything, is to study. You know, I think that people, you know, that are interested in making music should find what happened, find out what happened before them. Do you know what I mean? So, um, my big advice is to study. Go learn something about music that you're not interested in making. You know, and that'll help with the process of music that you are interested in making. I really believe that. So you're talking about listening to a lot of different types of music, reading Absolutely. up on. If you want to be a rock band, go study jazz. It'll help your writing. It just will, you know? Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be a classical musician, you know, learn something about you know, some of the 20th century guys like John Cage. It'll influence, you know, what you end up liking and playing. It's just good, you know, to seek, seek out things outside of the sphere of what it might be that you're interested in doing. You know, it teaches you more about your craft, I think. Do you believe anyone can make music on a Mac? Yeah, I do. I do, actually. Um, and uh, I think that that's a really good thing. I think that anyone can make a film on a Mac, too. Um, and I think that keeps everyone that's professionals on their toes. And I think it also, um, it also you know, instantiates new techniques that people that are treating these sort of tools with, you know, kind of reverence won't come up with, you know, people that are, someone that's 15 in their bedroom messing around with a Mac and a digital video camera like what you guys have got are going to probably come up with something like a million times more interesting than anything that, you know, any traditional filmmaker, you know, would come up with. And I think we're going to start seeing the proliferation of a lot more things like that over the next couple of years. And I think that's so exciting, you know, I think that's really cool.